that water. Boy, this cutscene is uh, old. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Park. It does. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Of course, fun answers in that. Hey, <laughs> you know, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna Hang on, say anything. Oh, look at this! Look, look at this! It's Midgar. <laughs> yeah, it's Midgar. The address you got off that map. Sector Seven, ball and kill everybody. It's a bit of a walk from here. That's the saddest part of Seven. I mean, like, like Eric dying close. sad, but it's also like much like, 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 like it's gonna happen. Whatever, it's a necessary part of a story. The real sad part is that everyone in Avalanche except for Tifa there and Cloud dies. Yeah, that's. Yeah, the one. I love Jesse. Wedge. They, like, yeah, they, they fuck you over by introducing you to these characters before killing them. Like, if they were just nameless NPCs, it wouldn't feel nearly as bad. But yeah, no, like, they're your friends. Like, Jesse totally has a crush on Cloud, too, and like, it's really sad that she dies. Alright, let's see what's in the news. Uh, Darrow Industries offering substantial incentives. Oh, hey, Penchea, I wonder if that's going to be relevant to anything later. Probably <laughs> not. That's probably just not. flavor world building, you know. <laughs> High Young Medical. High Young Medical is probably not going to be in the game at all either. Oh, I'm sure we'll never hear about them again. Definitely not in the next game. Do you ever play uh, Deus Ex 2? I have not played any of the old ones. I, I played Invisible One on Xbox and I liked it a lot, but I also never played the first one. Really? And I know a lot of people who played the first one really. Yeah, no, I, everyone I've talked to says that Deus Ex 2 sucks. Yeah, I liked it as a kid because I honestly that's all I had. To, sure. You know, so I was like, oh, this is a cool game. And like, there's this side quest where like, you're you're dealing with these two competing coffee shops, and you're trying to like. I don't know exactly what your goal is, but you eventually discover that, like, both coffee shops are owned by the same company. And it's a false competition. Oh, sure, the way, you know, most corporations today actually work. Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but I remember as, I, as a kid, I, I, I heard a thing where, like, Coke and Pepsi were owned by the same company, but I don't know if that's actually that true. That is... I don't believe that is true. Yeah, exactly. Um, but there are there are industries where it's like that, um, where, <laughs> uh, like, manufacturing, the same parent company will own multiple brands of the same product, and <laughs> regardless of which one is doing better, the same uh, people are making money. Making money, yeah. It's a, it's a monopoly that it's it, it's not visible to the to the general public. That kind of gets off on it, gets off scot free. I feel like the only place to work around here is TYM. I don't oh, think Alice. right, the uh, oh. right those uh, horrifying little like stacked coffin apartments. Yeah. Based off, you know, actual, like, pod hotels and stuff, so, like... It's a real it's thing. A real thing. I mean, yeah. like... I don't know. It's, like... I've, I've lived in a communal house before. Like, lived with a bunch of people all living in the same house. We each had our room kind of thing. Sure. And that was... I don't know. I kind of liked it. It was nice having... I like how we can of... just walk into the back area of this, like, unmanned convenience store and take <laughs> ammo. Our credit, yeah. Our, our inventory wasn't full. Exactly. <laughs> but, so this is very JRPG-ish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. I found some gill under your bed. I'm keeping yeah. this, but that's my savings. <laughs> Not anymore, it is. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm the hero, okay? I'm gonna uh, stop what, meteor. There was a life. game I was playing recently <laughs> where um you can go into um you're wandering around you can go into uh, a guy's apartment and or into various apartments and like you know just snoop around in their stuff and there's one where you take stuff and then as soon as you enter um as soon as you try to leave the guy walks in and he's like hey what are you doing with my oh right it was in Knights of the Old Republic too um in the um, first, like, area past the tutorial, um, one of the apartments you can go into, there's a, there's, like, a crate you can open and get some stuff, and then when you walk in, 
Uh, the guy, as you're trying to leave, the guy walks in. He's like, hey, uh, what are you doing in my apartment? Did you take my stuff? And then you can, like, apologize or, like, I think fight him or something. Oh, jeez. You have enough money to buy, um, Praxis? I do, but also I want to sell a bunch of stuff because my inventory is full. Um, except I can't sell. Hey, Lexi? Yes? Remember how I had a coffee and a cappuccino? Mm-hmm. I think I need to take a mini break. <laughs> All right. I can, I'll be right back. Listen, I can edit this out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, I'll just try to edit this probably. Um, can't. We'll say there was a short break. Might as well because we're right. going to no, talk about. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have no cut. idea what we were because we have no idea what we were talking about before we stopped. Well, so, like, <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to, I just bought a couple practice points and I wanted to sell some stuff. But apparently, can't do that here. I'm going to have to find another Very vendor. Welcome, sir. Get augmentations okay. now, pay later. Well, that sounds like a good way to get in trouble. Well, um, on on the break, I was t trying to tell Lexi about this anime that me and uh, Cassie are watching called Sakura Trick. It's a Yuri anime. That's it's just a cute kind of gag show where like all the girls in it are disaster lesbians, but the main crux of the show is that these two girls who are like best friends who start kissing and them trying to hide their kissing from, like, their other friends, and it's adorable and good. <laughs> it's just pure fluff, and it's good. Oh, so it's you in TV show form. God. That's... That's uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was... Me. I think it was very called for. I attacked you off mic, at least, you know? <laughs> I mean, that was your choice. Jeez. So you, you want me to mention the thing that I said? No, not particularly. <laughs> Alright. Do you have an idea for where a vendor is going to be that I could sell some junk to? Um. God. Uh, at the at the ho at the hotel, the um. The the the, bad, the one that's like um a, a brothel. Right. Yeah. The, where, yeah. Near where we near where we landed. There's a weapon shop there. Okay. Cool. Um. um this appears to be a dead end. But yeah, like I don't know, like this is this will probably be like months and months and months and months ago when this comes up. But like yeah. really recently, he linked uh, an image from that oh. anime's ending, which is just like there is. One of the couple is just like this like short blonde girl, and in the ending they put her in a dog costume, and I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> that's just that's just, just me. Just you. <laughs> I said she was me earlier on in the episode, and that happened in the ending, and I was like, God damn it! Fuck! Fuck off! <laughs> they... Okay, now you can't be mad if it's if it's backing you up. That just means you're right. It's good to be right. Uh... Listen, it's less mad and more embarrassed. <laughs> Be proud of being correct about something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, just walk in, just walking in, grabbing your, uh, grabbing your rainy day fund from the back shelf. The only thing I would it. say against Sakura Trick is that it's a little too fan servicey, with like constant shots of like the girl's boobs and stuff because it makes me feel oh, like sure. i mean like I, I i i get worried if that part is that stuff is in there for the male gaze more than like the you know the gay women who might watch and enjoy it right yeah there's <sighs> because like i mean like and again like i love looking at boobs but like when it's like that often it's a little bit like mm. yeah <laughs> like, like to a little too much. My my thing with all that. Okay, we're gonna come back here when we can actually. Have and I and I just know stuff. like gross boys are watching it and being like yeah and like oh, I don't know. Well yeah like let, for I me I don't. I can't like I can't let gross boys ruin all my Yuri enjoyment. So <laughs> right no for me it's more just um. Millionaire Hugh Dale has contacted 
I'm not a big fan of gratuitous nudity, where like it seems like the only point of the of the nudity is so that you can there isn't, like ogle there isn't it. A lot of nudity in it, but like it'll just be like okay, like the, like the okay nudity the nudity was the wrong word, but just like sexualized content in general. Like yeah. I I want that content to be linked to something to have relevance beyond just hey it's sexy. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing implicitly wrong with that. It's just for me personally, like I engage more with sexual content when there's substance to it yeah there's, there's a few characters that have like sizable chests and every time the camera goes to them it goes to like the chest first and then moves up to the head uh... and it's like that's a little bit much guys it, i mean yeah even even if it's not intentionally like male gazy it stuff like that just always will invoke for me the plethora of like jrpgs and other um like you know, other content that I've experienced throughout the years that has been really exploitative and... Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know, maybe it's shitty of me to say it's male gazy, because I mean, like, again, like, if gay women watch it, they want to look at tits too, you know? Like, sure, all, well, like... sure, but there's, I think there is a distinction there where, like, even, yeah. even when it's, I mean, not to say that it's okay to objectify people necessarily if you are of the same gender as them, but, um, like, the, the female gaze, even the gay female gaze, is distinctly different from the male gaze. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. there's I a, don't there's get a certain... That, I, don't get that, I don't get that sense from the show that it's the gay female gaze, and right. I'm saying this as a bisexual woman, so... Because there's a... Because there's an implicit, um, sense of possessiveness to the male gaze, of yeah. this person's body exists for, primarily for my pleasure, or for my interest. Yeah, and, and it doesn't help that the first time I watched it, a cis boy showed it to me. Mm, yay! So, like, who, yeah, that... who, like, enjoys it, and, like, really enjoys Yuri stuff, but he's, like, again, he's a cis boy, so it's, like, I, I, mm, I don't know. That always you're enjoying shapes... it all for the right reasons, buddy. Right, that always Especially shapes your perceptions quite a bit. Especially since the same boy came to me later and was, like, oh, Citrus is really good, and it's a lot deeper than Sakura Trek, and I'm, like, yeah, and I don't know if you know much about citrus, but that's not a good. That's not good. <laughs> um, I, I know that it uh, gives me heartburn if I have too much of it. Citrus is a is a Yuri show that's that's being aired right now. That like um is about two stepsisters who fall in love. Oh, okay, so that's that show. I've caught some of the I've caught some of the discourse. Yeah, what but even on top of the stepsister they angle, like, it, like I don't know, I, I haven't actually watched it, but I've heard from friends that it's, like, it's sick. the one of the I characters is super manipulative and shitty, like and, like, you know, but the show tries to frame it as, like, I am lucky, I guess. romantic and shit, and, like, I don't know. I don't know it if that's true, because I haven't advantage. watched it myself, but, like, I believe my but friends who tell me it, so. They're not so lucky. What do you mean? Oh, hey, uh, speaking of male gaze and, like, Very possessing, bad. possessiveness One of, of women, um, Ning. we're talking she to a, uh, a sex worker I here who is being pressured into getting augments augmented. that you she's see, not man. super into, you seem but like a good man. She's and other girls I who are resisting augments are getting, like, Please, kidnapped and forcibly augmented, and it's really shitty. Also, just a, um, also just as a, uh, like a professional pressure the um concern there's concern that you know the newer girls are going to take more of her business because to them who are they uh, the whole popular which means there's a social pressure on top of the you know awful the past, like abduction had to deal with stuff. local police for protection and because yeah the abduction was already pretty business. fucking awful <laughs> right <laughs> other way but, yeah right then, things change does this game really look this bad or do you are your settings low the lower hands up. <laughs> yeah, they not care to help like, this is really bad <laughs> well i mean look at her look at jensen's hair and then look at her hair it's not the settings control. it's the amount of this money they spent the on npcs yeah, we cannot do anything true. about it why do you think ning has been kidnapped before we could always refuse augmentations but more and more girls got them and it brings more money now they force us to do it. What's, they won't I even mean, hire pure breeds like me anymore. I have to wonder what kind of augments they're, they're getting that makes popular. sex better. Is Ning one of the pure breeds? <laughs> so, yes. Oh. I mean, unless well, it's just a lot of robot I fetishes. I was going to say, there, I'm sure that's some of it, but there's augments. probably also um, she say no, even when attachments. 
Now I fear they lose patience. Can you get like a super cyber vagina? <laughs> Ning's not the first. And she won't be the last. I bet you there's a lot of people who are into cyber pegging. Isn't this a job for the police? Yeah. The police it probably leave is. lower Hansa <laughs> to Bell Tower. And Bell Tower not care what happens if criminal um, paid the money? I got they don't care about my friend so that they don't have or a gag any of reflex, the other girls maybe. forced into the sex trade. Jeez. God. <laughs> What do you need me to do? I heard the girls are drugged and taken to a place somewhere in Dagon yeah. district. There, they're held until the doctor comes. This is fucked anyway, up. I wish you to find also, this is, this is to shit. This is pretty uh, easy I analog for shit late. that happens today in the it, real world. Yeah, sex no, absolutely. All the fucking like, time. Sex trafficking. So, do we um, even... Do we even want to ask about a reward? trafficking. I feel like I, feel like I want no, to help with this because it's not. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't fucking like. Okay, like I, 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 I never and like be like, hey, give me money on right this you, quest. Like, Mr. yeah, we're not Jackson. going for dark side Mr. points Jackson. here. I fear this little time. Plus, like, you must find Ning before they yeah, leave her with augments. <laughs> yes, they call it that. Okay, so okay, so some of it I think is just forcing them to get augments that aren't necessarily helping with the. Just that oh, it like is the, well, that's in another thing that, that pimps do, is they give yeah. their yeah. girls, you know, you, drugs and... Get them hooked on heroin, oh, and... There's a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works oh. with these people. Yeah, yeah, it's... He will know where Ning is. He goes to the room to smoke fucked. often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. As fucked as this content is, it's also like anything else you can give me. Yes. I like being able to kick the, the shit out of the me. people who are doing this, they even if it's just like fictional. Yup. Triad gun here, the harvesters. If you look for some of them around, maybe you find Ning better. Got it. They should make an, well, another good thing about Deus Ex too. I will say, is you can be a girl in that game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I as much as I love Jensen. I do like Jensen a lot. Jensen, Jensen's awesome. I'm I'm a huge wanna, fan of him. I want to be a, a cool cyber girl too. It's um yeah, it, being a girl is great. <laughs> I've seen some like people do cosplays of like uh you know Rule sixty three Jensen. Yep. And it's good. All right, we'll come back there later. I bet you we'll find a code eventually. Hmm. What's up? How's everybody doing down here? Just watching. Boy, like, this guy up. is yes. not at all into what's going on here. <laughs> he is looking at the floor. <laughs> I should think of what he's thinking. I'm like, is that? Do they feel the norm? Here I am. The augmented girls here are popular, but once in a while, I like to try a natural. Some guys say they can't. The fuck is guy, this? Fuck can. this guy. Oh, Shoot that's him. gross. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him. I don't Shoot think that would go her! well. It's amazing. Okay, well, F, quick save. Let's do this for me, Lexi. Okay. Quick save. Shoot him in the head, and then load. <laughs> yes! Fuck that guy! Uh, what the heck is... There it is. Girls, don't be scared. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, ladies. <laughs> there. On In some parallel... In some parallel universe, he was just murdered now, and I like to think on some level he understands that. <laughs> uh, what's, what's God, there in real life, I could say is just punch someone out to be serve me at work. Oh, the, um, I would, I would horribly abuse quick save and quick load features if they were available in real life. I have had multiple dreams where I gained that power, and. Oh, yeah. I mean, Life is Strange is about a character that can do that. <laughs> it is, yeah, absolutely. I do like that, that it kind of like, it puts it save scumming into like the, you know, into the mechanics of the game. 
boy, that guy is leaning back in a really awkward way. On glass, he's he, super drunk. <laughs> I was gonna say he looks he all, looks almost like a dead body pose if he wasn't wiggling around like, so much. I, like, I also like that he has this beautiful girl in front of him, and like we walk in, he starts looking at us. I'm pretty sure that guy is not here for the ladies. He's just pretending to be. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm super into chicks, but if Adam Jensen walked into the room, I would be paying fucking attention. Uh, yeah, you would, Lexi. Jensen is totally your type. Of course he is. <laughs> All right, we got us. Lexi likes safe likes code. Lexi likes gruff boys. I I do like gruff boys. It's true. <laughs> Send Lexi your pictures of McCree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll take him. <laughs> He's got a robo arm too. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Robo arms are a big turn on, just in general. <laughs> yeah, here, money and shoes. Let's take his shoes. <laughs> we eagerly await the cyberpunk future where everyone has cool cyber shit. But not like the bad corporate stuff that can go away. See, we've already got that part, and we don't have the. Well, actually, we've made some pretty good strides in prosthetics, like cybernetic prosthetics, lately. Mm -hmm. We're on track for that. Mm -hmm. There was actually. Was... I was. Oh, sorry. Um, there was a billboard. Um, for the service you want, on my you route want to work for the longest time. You want best Here in the city. Go. You come to the right place. Um, what about the for drunk a computer solar and pump. For sorry, all you can hear thing. Yeah, so there was a there was a billboard for uh, one of the local universities, uh, in my region that was um, it was for a medical engineering. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to work this. Apparently, I have to switch the arrow keys for this for some reason. Um, yeah. Can you use a mouse wheel? Uh, for okay, I guess I can click on the arrows. That works. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, they were advertising a medical engineering, uh, degree, and the picture was of a, like, robot arm reaching up and a human arm reaching down to grab it, and I was like, man, this billboard's really speaking to me. That's really cool. <laughs> well, like, when we, were, when, when, when we were reading Hearts of Steel earlier, I'm like, this is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me, give me more of that. Give me a full, <laughs> give me a full fucking cyberpunk noir book. Yeah. Um, speaking of cyberpunk, do you, um, do you, have you heard of Solarpunk? Um, I have not. Solarpunk is kind of like a brighter cyberpunk where it's like all the technology is like solar powered, and it's a, like there's a lot of greenery and stuff. Like so, it's kind of like a more optimistic solar punk, uh, cyberpunk kind of thing. Just but like stuff, stuff, solar powered stuff. You. Hang on a sec. There's stuff I want here, but I need to check what I've got on this. On my no, not, the, already. not so much the dreary industrialism. I want to see more solar. I've heard about solar punk, and I think I might have heard of someone talking about it on one of our podcasts on Audio Entropy. It's possible. It, it sounds actually. like something. That sounds like something our our crew would be interested in. Yeah, it might have been Ashley talking about it on T on Totally Your Prize. But if I'm totally, I could be totally wrong. But yeah, um, I definitely want to see. God damn it! I totally want to see uh, solar punk stuff. Alright, so there's some uh, weapon mods I could buy here, but it looks like I don't, um... Here, everything for good price. Looks like I don't need them. Ooh, I could buy a sniper rifle. I don't have enough inventory space to hang on to a sniper rifle. I will, however, buy all these uh, AUDs, because uh, those are real handy. I don't know Thank you. why Come again. you're saying sniper rifle made me think of Metal Slug. But do you, do you, have you ever played Metal Slug? I have not. Well, in it, like, when you pick up a new weapon, it'll be like, Heavy Machine Gun! Oh, like, nice. They'll, they'll say, like, Rifle! It'll say stuff like that, right? But it, And it'll say it in that kind of voice, except for Rocket Launchers. It'll be like, Rocket Launcher! <laughs> <laughs> Heavy Machine Gun, Rocket they, Launcher! They added the Rocket Launcher <laughs> later and um, had to, couldn't get the same guy in, so they just had, you know, Bill down the hall. Do the recording for that one. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. 
Well, I think it's a very Japanese game, so I doubt there was someone named Bill down the hall, but maybe. <laughs> hey, didn't uh, Nintendo's Bill Trennan work in the Jap Japan office for a long time with Nintendo? True. A lot of people did, like, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, American game developers who have gone to Japan to work there, so it's true.